Hello, hello, very good afternoon to all the viewers from Body Mind Soul magazine as well as Body Mind Soul Festival. A very good afternoon to all the viewers and also our regular of Body Mind Soul Live Talk. And this mark our live talk number 31. This is your regular host, Christina Tang, over here. So is everyone is coming in. I'm waiting for more people to join me. So today we are going to have a very, very dear friend of mine and also a special guest to share with us healing through the power of sound and intention. So this friend of mine is very, very different from me. She is more graceful more girl yeah more lady like i would say but we venture in this journey more or less about the same time we go into spiritual i would say you know uh in this journey i always mention there are two person in my life that play a very very important role and she is one of it so without me saying too much let me see how is everyone feeling how are you share with me and one thing about christina is christina love 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 to engage with all our viewers so today is a very good chance because we will also open the floor to all our viewers to understand or to ask questions i have michelle over here hello with a lot of hardship so pew 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 back to you michelle and and to all the viewers who have just joined us, a very good afternoon to you again. And welcome to Body, Mind, Soul, uh, live talk number 31. And again, if you are watching this from somewhere else or other one uh, or any host watch party, make sure that you click into Body, Mind, Soul magazine page or Body, Mind, Soul festival page because only then, whatever that you comment, I will be able to read it. All right. So, um, because if you are watching the watch party, all your comments that come in that you commented, I won't be able to read it. I won't be able to engage with you. And I love to hear from everyone. How is your Saturday been so far? And this is our, like I shared yesterday uh, in December, right? This is my favorite month. It is the month of a spirit of giving and spirit of joy. Christmas is just around the corner. How is everyone prepping yourself to end the year 2020 and move yourself to the year 2021 all right i have made book one over here saying hello christina and sevi yes sevi will be my guest in a short while so today we are very very lucky um we have Sevi, who is a dear friend of mine. We know each other since college. As I said to all of you, I started my spiritual journey um, not long ago, three, four years ago. Um, the very first person who uh, bring me to understand what emotion is and how emotion can affect our body health, it was my primary bestie. So she was the first one that introduced me that emotions play a very important role in our life. And that's where I start to search more. And then God, or I would say universe, you know, the creator has been very, very kind. When you start to look for a solution, um, there will be more coming your way. So there's always a saying that uh, if there is a will, there's a way, right? So that is exactly what happened. I was I was in, in my junction of depression and my primary bestie told me, you need to look into your emotion, go for some courses. And that's where I start to go, when for the very first a short workshop, half-day workshop that talks about emotion. And then I have a chat. I still remember I had a chat with this beautiful speaker later, Miss Sevi Ho, in a restaurant. And we were just talking that, you know what, I think I should move out, blah, 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 blah. And then she asked me, I think maybe you should have a look at Awaken the Divine You program by Master Umesh Hishnawani, founder of The Golden Space. And there is how it all started and it's so beautiful what happened is we have been growing together and we have been seeing each other grow together as well and she has become one of the awarded you know sound healer if i'm not mistaken and i'll let her to share more with everyone over here later and yeah so she is one of the uh, sound healer that currently practicing at ohana joe uh, studio as well so I see that there are quite a lot here are waiting. I can feel the vibe that, hey, come on, bring out the guest, bring out the guest. She is definitely ready. So warm your palms. Uh, I just want to, I just want to get some uh 
uh, uh, some some someone who actually tell me, you know, on the chat box that if you want me to bring out the guest, you have to say yes, 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 yes in the chat. All right. But before that, uh, before I bring out the guest, while you are typing all the yes, I give you some time. I would like to also, you know, share with you a little bit more about us body mind so i'll take the chance to share so this is our latest volume body mind so magazine is a quarterly magazine and we always aim to impact life positively so this is our october issue dawn of a new day and january we will be having our january issue with a lot new energy and new articles there are a lot more uh, uh, interesting articles because we managed to uh, get more international writers contributing writers that wrote their authentic personal experience article with the same aim to serve the community, to share the experience. So all of you out there, if you are one of those who love to write and do not know where to contribute, join us, come and write to us or talk to me or put a comment in the chat box asking, you know, how can I contribute to the to this magazine? How can I submit my article? So uh, we will have editorial team to get in touch with you. And then let me go to the next slide. So every volume will comes with a workshop as a give back to all our subscriber and also our readers so of course uh this dawn of a new day we are having uh the workshop next sunday transform your life through self-mastery conducted by will be conducted by none other than janine lee the author of my journey towards light and a practitioner of the golden space malaysia so this is happening on the third December 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. and it will be conducted via what zoom so what will you get again I'll flash it out very quick so you in this two, two hours workshop we will realize how life challenges are closely connected with our emotions and thoughts you know like I shared earlier before right uh, I didn't know that you know all the troubles that I was going through um, before I venture into spiritual Liti, it was related to emotions. So this is a workshop where you can get to know your emotions and get to know life challenges are closely connected with it. And then from there, we will be able to gain our self-mastery and to transform all the challenges into a blessings and then we will reclaim our power together so you will go through this journey together with Janine Lee and it is a workshop from Body Mind Soul we hosted it and as a gift back to all our subscribers and readers so all of you you can reserve your spot via the link that has been published on Body Mind Soul magazine as well as Body Mind Soul festival as long as you are a reader of the magazine or a subscriber of the magazine you will be able to get it so uh, our our subscription is 40 ringgit a year for a transformation journey together with Body Mind Soul magazine. So you can also get all this information from our website, bodymindsoul.com.my. So is everyone ready? Let me see how is the chat going on. I don't have... Yes, yes, yes. Are you all ready for me to welcome our very pretty speaker who will also be giving us a short glimpse of how sound bath or sound healing is. Are you all ready? Give me more. Yes, 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 yes. I have yes, yes, yes. Okay, 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 okay. Sevi, sevi, sevi. All right, okay, okay. All right. So warm your palms up like how I always do because we need to get our energy ready, right? We need to get our gas ready as well. So even though I can't hear your applause, but do applause together with me. So that we will welcome together Ms. Sevi Ho, my dear friend, Meditation and Sound Healing Facilitator. Hello, Sevi. Hello, hello, my dear. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> How are you? Very excited. I'm really yeah, good. Looking great. So nice to see you. It's it's like so nice to see you like 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 on the other side of the screen. You're like it's it's <laughs> because I was you, just yeah. I was just sharing on my personal Facebook that, you know what, we have been doing a lot of events together, but this is like yeah. the first time the two of us are sitting down and chatting. Yes, sitting, uh, <laughs> sitting down and chatting. I mean, I usually watch you on just on the screen because I'm not part of it, just watching you talking. And then now it's like, 
But then now we are we are we are we are interacting with one another. <laughs> All right. So Sebi, yeah. I have a lot of uh, yes yes over here. I have mm. Erin saying hello to you. I have Lao Hi. saying hello to you. I have Shiwe. Hello, Shiwe, Christina, and Sevi. And you know what? Hi. Pour it in. Keep on pouring in. And Sevi, we do have a our regular um, send in question before the live talk, so that she he wants to know something. But before that, um, oh wow, my mom. Hello, Sevi. Hi, hi, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, um, mm. I think a little bit of introduction of how you come about and you know uh becoming a awarded person as well a awarded sound healer if i'm not mistaken yeah so maybe we can <laughs> share a little bit of your story not many know how you started right everyone uh, come to your session and join the healing that, that they received from you through your bowls and crystal bowls and all your tibetan bowls but how did you start it? how did you even you know Share with me about the course that you went through that that put up that planted a seed in you. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, uh, let, me let me collect myself. myself. With, with the thing I think it was the, in two thousand sixteen, right? Around there. Two thousand sixteen. Two thousand sixteen, two thousand seventeen. It could be fifteen-ish because before that. Um, I think I was still I was a music producer to mm. begin with. I was a music producer, composer, arranger. So I do performer, music, uh, performer. So I played the violin. I played the keyboard. I, I mean, I used to be more per, of a performer um, during my college days, and I teach as well. And I even write books and produce stuff for little kids. And yeah, and after that, I think. I was doing performing more even in college where even for different artists, a lot of local artists, even like, um, you know, like Merdeka, during Merdeka, those live shows, you know, I'm very privileged to be able to share the same stage as sometimes like Anwar Zain, you know, um, Awi and uh, Amy Surge and all those really, really beautiful um, artists, talented, you know, very inspiring artists, even like Sheila Majid and all of them. So, but after that, I was more into teaching and suddenly I was guided more into production. And just turning back way back, like when I was a kid, five, four, five years old, I kind of have this, I've got my little piano, like which is this high. Mm. I, I, I started playing and um, I created my own tune. And that was the first thing I asked my dad, you know, like, Dad, what does a, a person who plays create music, what is it? What is it called? You know, what's the mm. occupation called? So my dad told me, oh, that's a composer. It's like, and I look at him, okay, when I grow up, I want to be a composer. You know? Wow. Like, so, and yes, you eventually did. I did. I mean, yeah. it has always been like, a, I love um, creating in that sense, create, create music in that sense. So I grew up, I was basically quite musical as in I play for the, the whole school sings when I play the piano and then they sing um, the school anthem and our Nagaraku and all that. So every wow. week I do hey, that. The two so, of us are quite similar. I'm yeah, the conductor. Right. It's, it's and the weekly assembly, you know, you <laughs> have to have someone to conduct. conduct so right? I've yeah, conducted yeah, yeah. for one year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so when, when they, they kind of, every time I think about it, my me is probably oh that's the school pianist you know uh, and so when i got out of it i decided to i want to do a degree and then i did a degree and then and that's I how performed. we met each other yeah that's yes how we met each other. that's how we met each other <laughs> <laughs> in a college in a college you mean a music college yeah and since you venture into compose composition and arrangement i venture into music production because i love engineering events engineering yeah. oh, yes. as well yeah so that's, that's how yeah events yeah that's always yes. my joy and my love mm. yes so I mean, please continue so there are times where we you know in projects we will always come well, even after when we left college i left college and then you you have done events and sometimes we kind of collaborate again yes. and again yeah so yeah it, it's so nice so as um after when i was i got into teaching for a while and suddenly i I was teaching for a while and then suddenly I was guided like, hey, what happened to that composer? You know, like I've been wanting to write. So I got into writing 
back again, you know. So I got into TV commercials. It was something that I actually really loved to explore because when I was young, I was like looking at the TV. I was like, I want to be the person who writes music for this one or that one, you know. And people and I, can sing. Yes. That's why it's called jingles, right? Yes. And um, I've always wanted to do, you know, TV commercials like for festive season, like for Patronas, you know, for those DG where they have a long web film, like yeah, longer than film. a norm- yeah, normal, longer than a normal 30 second TVC could be like three, five minutes or 10 minutes mm. kind of a film. Mm. And I got into that. And um, it was such a joy to be able to express this and um, mm. working with very many talented um, directors and all. It's, it's just sometimes, it's quite interesting. The, the moment I feel like once I've expressed it, it, it it's like a, you've done, you've walked through the journey and you know, you've exhausted the lesson you've done already. And then this, 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 this spirit in me was like, okay, you got to do something else. And at that time, you know, as a human mind, I'll be like, no, I think I should cling on to it. I should cling on to advertising because um, it, it, it gives me um, security because I have to pay the bills. You know, I, I'm an only child. I need to support my parents and all that. But the longer I stayed on, because I knew at the back of my mind, something has to be shifted or else I, the, I might lose this passion of music or writing you see i mean i love it it's just that sometimes the the more i do i think once you exhaust it once you exhaust it like there's a lot of stress mm. and i started asking myself um is this really the thing that i want to do is this really the thing i want to do for the rest of my life because it's it's the body my body starts contracting you know mm. um mm. Don't get me wrong, I love music and I love the people that I work with. It's just, I don't know, there's something that's like, something needs to change. And mm. it was so funny that um, at, at that time, oh, many things happened at the, at the same time. My mom was in the hospital. She was in the hospital for months, for three months. And then, yeah, I wasn't in, uh, I kind of got, got out from a relationship. So everything kind of like crumbling down. <laughs> and then, um, then I started to question myself and I took a break. I took a break from um, writing the music. I traveled a little bit to Thailand to just do rock climbing and all that. And I meet Christina sometimes in rock climbing as well. So it was there that I start to develop this uh, practice of uh, meditation. Because before that, I, I realized um, when I was just keep pushing myself and my body was contracting, I realized I was just sleeping on my couch, not wanting to go into my room. My room is the studio that create all the music, just 10 steps away, but I couldn't get myself walk across mm. into the room to do the mm. job. Then I know, you know, my, my body is rejecting, rejecting uh, the thing that I'm supposed to do. So, and the thing that you I, used to love the most, Exactly. Right? It was yeah. the thing that I, I love the most. It sparks joy and all that. Yes. But now it feels like my body is not able to, to feel it. So I took a break and I like, did some rock climbing. And then also um, I practiced more yoga at that time. And eventually the yoga kind of helped me pull through more jobs because, you know, it, it just neutralized a little bit. But it's just, it's not, it's not like... Mm like the full remedy where, you know, I'm fully back. So I, I discovered meditation and I got, and, and eventually I got accredited, accredited as a, a yoga instructor. I went to Bali and did, and the, that, that very first round was my initial awakening of like, I could feel my body connecting to nature a little bit more. And the thing was, I was the only Malaysian in, in, that, in, that, <laughs> in that certification. So when I come back to Malaysia, I was like, how am I going to maintain this thing, you know? Like, mm. th- there's no community and I don't no know. Support, to, no support this. group that is close enough. It's yeah, not that there no, isn't. I'm sure there is, yeah, but it's not yeah. just close enough. Yeah. yeah, I didn't, you know, happen to. So it just happened to, I, I, I just stumbled upon um, the golden space. So I started getting into the meditation and 
And um, even the very first class that I got in, I was like, ah, oh, this is the place. Like I, I managed to, I feel like so connected again, just like how I felt when I was in Bali, when, when I was doing my training. And it's like, mm. and, and it's a beautiful community. And then hence I further, you know, go in, dive a little deeper um, into the meditation. And so I, I took the the awaken. seven days awaken, yeah, awaken the, divine, the divine new program which is the one yeah. yeah the very first level which is in kl i still remember when you when you introduced that to me i was like telling you hey this is so marketed this is, this is not the thing that i'm looking for i'm not happy how are you going to go through a seven days and make me happy i was like telling you all the thing i still remember we had that chat in the restaurant i was like no savvy i don't think this is the one i think all i need was just find a place buy a house you know buy a condo move out and everything will be settled but you keep yeah. telling me you know you keep telling me you keep sharing me with me that you know chris you just take a pause you know you might your perception your perspective might be shifted after that just give it a try you know it's not like it's not like it's uh, too expensive it's something that's worth invest because you've mm. gone through it yourself and and yeah so i was like i always very grateful you know whenever everyone asked me how did i venture into this i said well thanks to my college mate who started first so and <laughs> i always have a trust on her whatever she recommend me usually i will not doubt it yeah, I will not doubt it. I will just, Thank you. I'll just maybe step back a little bit, just think a think a one or two second, and then okay, what the heck? If she says it's good, there must be something that is good for me too. So so yeah, so I went into that, and yeah, and and the first year I still remember, you know, I went into it, and that's where Body Mind Soul, this magazine, wanted to have someone to organize a on ground event to let mm. people to experience uh, beside. Uh, reading it to experience and 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 um physical experiential uh, uh, uh experience and that's where we created body mind soul carnival and i still remember i said savvy i want sound bath can you please do something about it i do not know how i talk how in how did you it talk me into up it yes i i <laughs> honestly i don't know <laughs> I, I mean, I've always drawn to sound, obviously, because I love to compose and all that. Yeah. And, um, and I had this interest in to, you know, get into it. But the thing is, I don't have bowls. I don't have bowls <laughs> and everything. I mean, I know how to conduct a meditation. And, you know, it's just like when intention is out, okay, I'm going to do it. But I don't know how, but I'm going to do it. So it's like, I just like, okay, I just say yes to Christina, not knowing how it's going to turn out. <laughs> 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 but you know the balls eventually appeared on the ground it, yeah we um, just do not know we just we just find it and and then yeah. learn it from everyone i have my own two balls and i say you know what i'll just get the balls for you and you will just get all the balls and you practice it a little bit and let's yes. just do it because yeah. you know what inside me I, I i always have that trust that i know you can do this i i know this is you are we are from the same college i know you are musically inclined and 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 yeah. and you have the intuitive to know which note to hit i mean for that yeah. part i have to give credit because you are better than me in that sense for this particular <laughs> part when it comes to event i know <laughs> i know what i'm doing right so yeah so it's such a beautiful thing that you know since 2017 i see you play and, and i remember you told me that was your first time playing right yeah was that was uh <laughs> First time, and, and I'm already being put in the public. I'm like, <laughs> hi, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Because yeah. a sound bath is usually conducted in a um, confined place, right? Yeah, confined like a quiet, place. so that you can get the best out of it. But for body, mind, soul, we have a different intention. We know that it's supposed to be done that way. But our intention is more of to introduce to to the market, you know, to the public that there is such modalities and sound and frequency can heal our body. I believe that's also uh, uh, how we all started to really go into and dive into body healing. And, and that's where you expand yourself with other healing modalities as well, right? Yes, what else that yes. you have yesterday? Maybe you can share with our, our viewers over here. But before that, let me just pull mm. out some comments. I have quite a few comments that's waiting. Uh, Maple Guan is pretty background savvy. You painted it, the portrait next to you. I believe that's what they are saying. Yeah, they are all my paintings. Uh -huh. 
and yeah. there is she saying, yeah, yeah, always enjoy your soundbar session with her angelic voice. So I do not oh. know whether today Sevi is going to add on her angelic voice or not. I have Annie David who started to know us yesterday. Hi Annie, a very good afternoon Hi. to you and stay tuned because we have a very short experience with sound bath later Yeah, while Sevi is sharing with us the power uh, of healing of through power, mm. uh, the sound and the intention. So yeah, mm. Sevi, so from since then, I'm sure you have really ventured into it. So how have you observed that the vibration and the sound have changes us or change you per se. Um, just the moment we are aware of the our environment, you know, because oftentimes we are so busy with doing, doing, doing. We we have never really have much time to just take a step back, relax, and listen. Mm. You know, sometimes, sometimes we, we in spirituality we listen to your heart, listen, but even to your environment, you know. And um, I would like to also talk about like you know how you can identify um, what is the high vibrational sounds and what is low vibrational sounds, and it gets you because the thing is, if let's say you are being put in a low vibrational sounds, for example, you're constantly in like um, near the traffic, always hearing that honking sounds or like mm. construction site means there's lots of um, very destructive sounds like you know it's not pacey and rhythmic and soft at the bottom which it keeps you ongoing but it's like very destructive and because like when i was saying there's intention behind sound sometimes if let's say it's at the traffic light when you hear the honk the honk oh. is being is being pushed by someone that's maybe angry impatient. sometimes, yeah. impatient. Um, yeah, some is maybe it's just a signal, yeah. But sometimes a lot of times it's like impatience. Or I mean, maybe that's most yeah. out of 10, maybe two are just to signal, <laughs> hey, it's dangerous. Yeah. But maybe yeah. out of 10, eight are impatience or <laughs> angry yeah. honk, honking yeah. sound. Yes. So, yeah, so you are seeing that, that intention behind the person who created the sound. Sometimes mm. we are not even aware, yes. right? When we, when we put down our books or when we <laughs> typing on our laptop, it creates exactly. sounds as well. Yes. Correct? It's as, you are saying that it's as fine as this. All the sounds around us, they are low vibrations and they are high vibrations. Yes. Mm. Even your voice, when you talk to your children, to your pets, you notice you talk to kids and talk to pets are very cute. Oh, hi. That's you. Like, your voice. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> <This is me. laughs> Don't you guys sometimes when you talk to like cutie stuff and then your voice gets cuter? <laughs> it's I think, like you're matching into <laughs> I I feel I think I think Sebi, you can count how many times you can you have seen me that way, right? <laughs> oh, oh, so cute. That's it. Yeah. But and um, you will be the one. <laughs> so so yeah. that create a very good vibe, actually. That 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 it's a, it's just how your voice is also have certain command when you are leading someone, when you are soothing someone, when you know, and the thing is, um sound that's it's all everything whether it's coming from our voice, whether it's coming out from the aircon, it's coming out from nature. You mm. know, that is why I said, um, you know, whenever if you feel like you want to get nice healing sounds, if you don't have a recording or well, you don't have like a sound bath or go, something that you can attend, perhaps you can take a walk at the forest. You know, when or you take the a park, walk. Right? Or the park. And it's because you see, when you hear the, the breeze blowing through, you know, the, the, the dry leaves and uh, the trees, then you hear that shh, very nice soothing tree leaves and all that. And at the same time, you hear some birds chirping or like some crickets, some insects, you know. And, and I'm, I'm not only covering about the sound, but you know, there's about the air and all that. It's really healing as well. So when it comes to sound, there's so many elements and textures of uh, sound when you are already in, when you're in a forest, um, you you you, it's like you vitamin, what, what you, yeah. It's what like you vitamins. just shared, right, Sevi? What you just shared is it really complement the live talk that we had last week with Suzy Suzy Rajalabram because mm. she was sharing with us about whispers of nature. 
Yes. You know, a lot of times that we yes. we are so um, taking it for granted that we've forgotten to just slow down our pace and listen to the voice of the leaf fall, the winds that blow, the breeze that 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 blows towards you, and how how your ear hearing your your hair, you know, flipping and things like that. Yeah. Mm. So that just as we talk about it, as we are chatting about it, we, we can feel that gentleness you know we can feel that grace we can feel that zen just yes. as we talk about it without even hearing it act, uh, physically now yes wow yeah it's even so, because like the intention that i want to talk about it and when i think about it, it it also brings in that vibration you see mm. so the the power of intention even speaking about that sound also can come in so it is mm. so that's why when we have the, the combination of the sound and the intention, it really speeds up um, all forms of healing. So yeah. can, I, can I kind of conclude it in a way that based on your experience, lower vibration sounds or lower vi vibration frequency, because sounds as measured in frequencies are those uh, heavy traffics, you know, um, um, mm. um, constantly concreting or construction sites or constantly if you are... Uh, living or working in an environment that people tends to shout at each other, that mm. also creates a, a lower vibrations, a lower frequencies, and yes. it gives us that feeling of discomfort if we Tightness. observe ourselves, if we observe our body, right? And yes. if let's say when we allow ourselves to go to nature, and that's one of the reasons why a lot of us love to sit next to the beach just to listen to the sound of the wave, right? The or, ocean. Yes. yes. The oceans, right? And and also the easiest way now is to go to the park, sit on the bench and just listen to the wind blows all the trees that are around there and that give us a, a higher vibration sound because um, na nature sounds tends to have a higher vibration sound, right? Yesterday, I was also sharing with um, our, our viewers, uh, TGIF, um, the topic was, can music heal us? So I have a, a guest that was asking us uh, prior to the live talk because he can't join the live talk today. So he was asking how impactful is music therapy is to our body? Body or to our life will you be able to answer this uh, when it comes to music therapy there are many there's one is very medical ones which i didn't get that certification but one of my very good friends she does that so and they it's it's, it's it, they have like certain methods and modality that's applied which is a lot it takes like a, a few years to get that degree and right now she's uh, also working with special needs kids and also um, what do you call um the children going through remission like cancer patients? Cancer like patients. Little children, it's children. our friend, right? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. So so she she really works uh with with patients like this uh, or like with kids, how to help them to develop better motor skills and you know, because sometimes mm. um music also holds some memory like when you hear this music in this era, it holds a memory. Like when mm. you hear back like different music, it's like it brings you back. Yeah. So it sometimes it's like maybe for like Alzheimer, someone who has Alzheimer, and you know, like when you play back this this old music and they suddenly oh, the, remember. Yeah, dementia, sorry. Dementia. dementia. Um someone who cannot remember, yeah, lose their memory. When they have that music engagement again, and then they could bring that memory back, you know. So there's there's many, many layers to it when we, we talk about that. And recently she told me she did an, uh, a course uh, where they have this hypnosis um, through classical music. Wow. And, yeah. And the classical music, different composer, they have different intention. And when you get into that and with as a facilitator, it brings you through it. And it's, it's very magical. You, you get lots of healing. It, mm. It's... It's complex when 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 this these are really really being studied and, and mm. being proven that it really worked. So mm. yeah, there, there's many many ways and sometimes just a pop song, you know, when someone is heartbroken when they hear a pop song. Yeah, I was just sharing yeah. yesterday. Just yeah. the one, one song. If you want to cry with it, cry with yeah. it. So that that sad song. Uh, you'd be surprised when you're sad you need to hear a sad song right because that sad song sometimes open it, it sometimes open up a little bit of the wound so 
so some release can be, be yeah we can express ourselves yeah be, be, be just poured out you know so sometimes tears might flow you know sometimes when you are really down it's, it's like you you just want that music mm. you know or that maybe outlet. yeah or maybe sometimes you feel sluggish you know you just want to pump it up a little bit and then you can use music to kind of boost your energy up and then you get into pumping that's why you you go to the gym people have more rhythmic music for you to to get yeah. into it well yeah. music is very influential you know i've done music for for supermarkets put put song lists for supermarkets you know we have certain rhythms of music where letting the shoppers walking around stay and, in the and, shop a and, little feeling, longer. and feeling that they should shop more <laughs> It does, I mean, honestly, it... if, if you are so, um, if you are observant and you pay a little more in, uh, 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 attention, attention, you will notice um, bookstores, I can't mention names, certain <laughs> bookstores, they play typical that type of music genre because they ah. want to create that vibe so that you will constantly stay in the shop and then yeah. you will spend more time. The longer yeah. time you spend in the shop, the higher chances that you will spend your money books. to purchase <laughs> a book or a magazine. So yes. they allow you, they give you that space, to, a couch mm. to sit down and read all the books that you want to because mm. they are very sure that you will eventually spend some money and buy mm -hmm. some books yeah for yeah. our own good that's for sure yeah knowledge yes. books are uh, knowledge it comes from books right so yes. i have a, another question is how can we apply practically like what you have shared just now um music you know if it's a pop music just allow yourself and that's something similar like what i shared with uh, 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 our viewer yesterday because i was telling them uh, you mm. know if you just want to cry it out cry it out you know allow yourself to cry it out and also if if you feel like you know going to the gym and you just need that rhythm make you know go into that rhythm and that pattern and that's why fitness studio tends to play rhythm make uh pump up music uh, more right upbeat music yeah, yeah more upbeat that's very nice to know um I believe, I, I feel uh, we can kind of like go in a little bit to let the people who are now watching can have a feeling of another way music can heal us or music therapy because I believe sound bath playing mm. the Tibetans and crystal bowls is another form of uh, healing modalities as well. Yes, um, I came across, um, there's this uh, teacher, she she's from... Uh, india and she's a doctor and she she's more of she 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 plays more of the tibetan bowls this is some they call it tibetan bowls some they call it himalayan brass bowls there are many names basically um when it depends on which country so a lot of monks they use this to keep them stay in focus because sometimes when our thoughts are so busy right and then it's just a strike maybe and then it's just kind of bring your focus into the sound. It kind of brings you back into focus in general. So, so and at the same time, and all these these brass bowls, they're also very beautiful, high vibrational frequency. And on top of that, a facilitator usually, you know, already meditate. They are more grounded and with an enhanced intention. It helps to bring the whole space for whoever that is receiving the sound. And I think in India, they have this, even in the oncology ward, the, mm. Mm, um, as a, like an alternative or, or like a supportive, um, holistic uh, little healing for them as well. Um, even in US, they have, they have the crystal balls uh, for those um, patients who are going, cancer patients who are going through remissions. They actually do use um, some form of a uh, sound because they we we even tune all these bowls to a specific note, mm -hmm. you know, like our normal musical notes, the do re mi fa sol la ti do, right? So all these some they they attune to specific notes. Some they have like a the the first seven notes. It is very linked to the the one that you know we 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 are aware of is the seven the chakra. chakra. Yeah, yeah, seven chakra seven system. Yes, yeah. yeah, so it, it, it has that specific notes on each what? and every one. Okay, yeah. so can, can, I, can I just try something? 
with me, yeah. with with, um, with all the viewers out here. Uh, let's do a very short activity, Savi. Like what you said just now, the heat, the bowl, and and let us focus, right? The some yeah. monk does that. Why don't we just yeah. do this with our viewer now? So now is without hitting the bowl, right? So once you experience hit the bowl, share with us how you feel after hearing the bowl sound, the vibration, and then how you feel after that. Okay, Savi, let's go. One hit. Just with one hit. It's very long, actually. So how is everyone feeling? You can see that Christina's tone has changed. It's more huh, zen and graceful. So how is everyone? So. Stay tuned because we will have a more, uh, a longer version with Sevi playing for all of us. I, I can assure you that all our admin at the back is they are preparing themselves for this session. They keep hinting <laughs> me it's time to go there, but I want to hear from all the crowd. With that just one hit, how you feel? For me, I feel more grounded, that's for sure. And somehow my voice changes as well. My voice changed and yeah. So hold on. Uh, I have some um, comments over here. Ha ha ha. Maybe today, Christina, you can demo cute sound for all of us. No way. Thank you very much. <laughs> I have nature symphony perfectly orchestrated, like the sound of rain studying. Yeah, it's about to rain at my end. That's why my sight here is getting darker and darker. Zen feeling like in a monastery. Oh, so that's yes. the one hit after that. How about the rest? Uh, is this singing bowl for heart based vibration? The one that you just pick up, Sevi? Um, um, I would say, I would say it, is. it is. But at the same time, because once we learn more of the bowls, like my teacher actually once told me before, you don't have to, like, sometimes that's why at the end of the day, there's a bowl. You can use one bowl to represent all chakras. Wow. Yeah. So if, if let's say, you know, it, it, sometimes it, it, at the end of the day, I would say like the intention, intention. Is, is very powerful. Like you don't really need like 20 bowls and then you try to play everything. But at the end, it can be very simplified. Sevi, so, I just want to tell you more and more people are coming in now waiting for you to start. Oh, really? <laughs> Miss you, Lily. I see you, Lily. Lily's picture. Wow, but yeah, I feel good in my heart. Oh, uh, and oh. then uh, Bokwan is saying, wow, a universal bowl. Yeah, the one that you say with one bowl. You know what? Why don't I just give you some time to prep yourself a little and, yes. and so that you can change your microphone setting and things like that. I will just feature myself over here. So for all of you who have just joined Body, Mind, Soul Live Talk, welcome, welcome to you. And this mark our number 30. Everyone, and I'm very happy to have my friend over here, my dear friend Savi, uh, who will be who had shared with us, you know, the power of intention and sound and how he can help us to heal ourselves. At the same time, she will be coming up very, very shortly to conduct a small little session with all the bowls that she has. And let's see whether she will be um, um, singing or with her angelic voice this round or not. So what we do is in the past, whenever we had body mind soul carnival she is one of our regular program and everyone loves it even myself and if because of her and that's how i venture into drum circle as well as, as again i'm very musically inclined as well so everyone i'll pass the stage to sevi so let's calm ourselves make sure that you know if you are with your earphones that will be fantastic listen this with your earphone if not just find a nice spot where you can focus and truly feel the vibrations and the intention that comes from sevi so with that i'll pass back to sevi so welcome in whoever that wants to join this little short little sound bath you can get comfortable in a seated position or you can actually you can actually lie down on a, a mattress or somewhere that's comfortable for you okay so first of all just get comfortable whether you're lying down or sitting up if you're sitting up 
allow the spine to just lengthen all the way up and just roll the shoulders back and begin to close your eyes and take a very deep breath inhale and hold the breath three two one exhale out through the mouth relax one more time inhale and hold it right at the top exhale release one last round take a deep breath inhale Three, two, one, let it go. So just take this time, relax. Allow the sounds to cleanse your auric field or to help you remove whatever that no longer serves you. So using your intention, whatever that no longer serves you, let it be washed, washed away by the sounds. Just let your breath be long and deep, gentle and smooth. Relax your head space. Relax your facial muscles. Your jaw. Relax your throat, relax your shoulders, relax your heart, relax your stomach, relax the whole back muscles. lower back, the hips, relax your thighs, your knees, calf muscles, your heels, right down to your toes, soften your arms, right down to your fingertips, Now visualize a shower of bright lights pouring down from the sky, coming into your space, letting these bright lights help to cleanse every part of you and let the sound of the bowls to weave into your physical body, your emotional body, and the mental body. Focusing on your heart, soften into your heart.
place your intention whether you want to let go or you want to embody a state of being and affirm that intention focusing that intention for two to three breaths deep healing breaths inhale exhale out through the mouth And very slowly, 
You may begin to bring your awareness back. <clears throat> back to your body. And back to your breath. When you're ready, you may slowly open up your eyes. And it's time for Sevi to prep herself a little bit. So let's welcome everyone back. Share with me how you feel, especially for those who have just joined us, because you see that Sevi has started playing her singing bowls. And welcome to all of you to Body, Mind, Soul Live Talk number 31. Today we are here to talk about the power of sound and intention. Share with us how you feel, uh, whether you have joined throughout the session of Sevi conducting or you have just joined half of it, how you feel before and how you feel after. And I believe Sevi is ready to come Hello. back. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello, Sevi. Thank you very much. Yeah. How is I was it? like, why you why you stop so fast? Oh, I was like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be, like having that gap of that one hour episode. <laughs> yeah. You can continue if your heart calls for it. So let us yeah. have more viewers to share with us how you feel. Yeah, continue to pour it in, whether you have anything that you want to check with Sevi or you have any question, is there any after effect of your body? Um, I remember, you know, the very first few rounds when Sevi conduct this sound bath in a uh, open public space. We used to do this in public uh, shopping malls, concourse, and you always, you know, share with the audience that it's normal if they have some parts of their body start to feel enormous of pain or they go in the opposite direction where they fall asleep. Would you want to just explain it to the audience while they are sharing with us? Yeah, yeah, can. Uh, well, because every journey for every individual is very different. Even every, the even the same individual, every time when they experience sound baths, it could be also very different as well. So every time I, I always tell whoever that attend the sound bath to just uh, stay open, you know, let go of an expectation how, how it should be like, and then you might get something at the end of it. So um, if let's say a person that has lots of stress, you know, and then they've been holding a, like suppressed emotions, there are also chances that once, once the sounds comes in, when they are more relaxed, when the body is relaxed, maybe healing wants to take place, certain release might come up. Um, it could be emotions coming up through tears, or maybe you just feel very light. You feel lighter. You know, mm. sometimes maybe all, all pain. Maybe you had mm. a big fall before or had some injury that hasn't gone, uh, like, like it's still there. Sometimes you might feel it. There was one, one uh, person who came to me. He has a surgery. So the stitches are still there. So during the sound bath, was very itchy for them. <laughs> it, they felt very itchy. It, it happens, you know. So yeah, there are many. And one one um, Indian man, he was so um, inspiring. That is why that I want to share about is about the the power of sound because this man he had a fall. He took a, a big. He got a big fall in in the toilet and then knock his knock his nose and then he had stitches and nose fractured. So, you know, that led him to not able to go to work and at the same time, you know, was down. In the end, it caused him not wanting to cut his hair. Beard grows longer and longer. And he was lucky that he was able to work from home. So he just didn't want to go to work for a month or two. I can't remember. But the thing is, he said he just didn't want to look into the mirror at all. Hasn't been mm. looking to himself, just retreating, retreating. And his wife decided to, you know, invite him. Let's maybe just want to go for a sound bath, you know, and just go there and sleep. Because my sounds, um, there are different types. So one of them is the sleeping sleep one. Yes. The lights are all off and you just lie down and sleep. But before that, I did show them how to do a little bit of uh, healing for themselves through intention, you know. Mm. So he went through that motion and that night he felt something shifted after the whole session of the sound baths and the intention to healing. And so the next day, he actually walked himself to a salon, to a barber shop to cut his hair, to shave his uh, beard off. And that was the very first time he was looking into the mirror. Wow, that's so something. heart touching. Yeah, that's so hard touching. Just suddenly, just something was able. Sweet. 
something shifted. And mm. after that day, every single day, he made a choice to look into the mirror. Wow. And he, he, he remembered the healing thing that I taught him. It's just intention, just ch- touching your face if you want healing or touching the belly when you want healing. So he did that and he did that breathing and he sees the changes in his, his nose. Every day, there's a change. And mm. by that one full week, he came back to my class again. Then he told me about his experience. Then when I was looking at I didn't know you have any problem with your nose because it looks all right to me. <laughs> and then <laughs> the, 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 his wife was like, yes, his nose at first was actually crooked. You can actually see that it was crooked. But eventually, wow. it was just being you know, shifted. So hmm. like I always want to tell people, all healing is in a form of self-healing. Whether you take Panadol or you had a surgery you know, to remove something, at the end of the day, you got to trust And then healing really takes place. So this man, he has really inspired me and really proven the power of the the combination of the sound and his intention that brings everything. Because the sound is is at such where it's huge and it just washes. Sometimes it needs that little push Mm. for people who is not moving or lethargic or not able to. It's very activating when it comes to to the gongs and the, the bowls. So... Yeah, this is one of it. There are many, many one like women coming to me say that their their menstruation starts to come back in back to mm. cycles because they have blocked uh like like delayed yeah. menstruation. Irregular, irregular, irregular yes. time. Irregular. Yeah. Okay, so I'll I'll back. just bring out I'll just bring out some comments over here. Lao always say say a relax relief can sleep with it. And Maple oh. is saying thank you, Sevi. Very healing. She way it brought me to the very present moment. I could feel my whole body beating along with my heart. Wow, that's very wow. beautiful. It was very peaceful and healing for me. Thank you, Sevi. And for all of you out there, uh, if you if you want to share with us how you feel, please continue to share it in. Um, also, uh, Sevi, can you maybe just give, uh, just share with our audience if they would like to practice this sound and intention at home without having any bowls, what mm. can they do? Can they hum like, hmm? Yes, mm. totally. It's humming. Even, um, even in, in, I think, for some special kids, uh, the autistic kids, they were even taught when they, they are anxious, they are mm. taught to hum, mm, to actually calm the nervous system. I even throw the humming in my yoga class. Every, wow. like after a, 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 a very tiring of round of like practice, so when they get into child's pose, I ask them, take a deep breath in and just hum. It's universal sound, just hum. Mm, then it kind of calms everyone, it calms the nervous system. So they say, ah, ah, is very heart opening. Ah, uh, uh, so it's, it's, uh, that, that's why yeah. you say like the, the, the festive season, yeah, yeah. Saying, ah, yeah. you know that it's very heart opening. So allow yourself to sing. If you know any lyrics, you can sing. There's no hard rules. On you know what, Sevi? We are just right all online. Right. We're just yeah. online. I was telling everyone, sing in when you're in the shower because shower exactly. has the best acoustic. It's <laughs> acoustically treated, uh, proven in a treated. way that it... Yeah, yeah. Because it has so many tiles and it just kind of make your sound sound so angelic and you feel like you're such a professional singer and artist and you just sing your heart out, you know, and just sing your lungs out, right, Sevi? Yes, 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 yes. That's the best part. You can sing your heart out in your in your bathroom when you're showering. Yeah. And you have the healing of water. <laughs> yeah, at the same time, flowing. All right. Yes. Uh, I have Shiva over here. Can we use the power of sound to cleanse our space? Sevi, what did you say? Absolutely. You can use power of sound or you can play the music. You have Spotify playlist, you know, anything. You can also place the intention. Yes, this sound is going to cleanse the space. But of course, certain sounds, certain Spotify playlists, if you are more um, sensitive intuitive. towards sound, intuitive, yeah. yeah, just trust your intuition. I know some of you, you know, you are more intuitive. You can actually feel the vibrations of different tracks. Then you can use that as well. Or if not, don't worry about like trying to figure out just allow yourself to 
just follow your intuition, use your intention, set it in, clean, cleanse the space, lift your, lift your spirit up or release something. Just do it. Just, just go with the flow. Go with the flow. I think today the more important keys that Sevi wish to share with everyone is the combination of sound and intention. A lot of time, we have the awareness with the sound, but we are not aware with our intention. And therefore, today she emphasized so much of the combination of sound and intention. I have Jia Wei over here saying hi, everyone. Have a nice day, Jia Wei. Thank you very much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the session with Sevi just now. And you know what? You yes. can always click share button for all of you who are watching. You can always click share button on this live talk because all our videos are always stay in Body Mind Soul magazine page as well as Body Mind Soul Festival page. We never delete it. And in fact, we upload it on YouTube, our own YouTube channel as well, so that we can benefit more to all those who have missed the live talk. And Sevi, if one last takeaway to all, uh, for all our viewers, what would that be? One last takeaway. Yes. Tr trust your intuition. Just, just trust your intuition and you know, pick the sound. You, you just know sometimes certain, certain music, it, it, it heals you, trust it, let it heal you and just stay open. Just allow yourself to heal. At the end of the day, all healing is self-healing. So allow yourself to heal and just surrender into that process. Mm. Yeah. Trust your intuition and pick the sound that your body needs it at that point of time. As simple mm. as we just humming it, either you are oh, to voice. open up your heart or hmm to calm yeah. yourself down. Either way, yeah. whichever that you are being guided intuitively. Yeah. So even, for, yeah, yes. even like sometimes when they're angry, when it's needed to ah, shout it out, or huh, you know, like it doesn't necessarily to be musical. There's noises that's coming out from your mouth it's also a part of a release of a healing. So yeah. don't think about must be beautiful. Just <laughs> let it go. <laughs> no, you know, that, that is why when you go to the gym, like what I shared yesterday, when they uplift something, they have to, uh, you know, yes, it, it, you know, it powers yeah. them up as well. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Allow yeah. our body to express, allow our throat to express that as well. Yeah. Expression so, is important. Yeah. Yes. So for all of you who love what Sevi has done, you can always follow Sevi on, if it's on IG, Instagram, as Sevi Mode, yeah, or on Facebook, Sevi Yoga. Sevi Yoga. Sevi Ho Yoga. Sevi Ho Yoga. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Sevi Ho Yoga. Yeah, Sevi Ho is, Ho is Sevi last name. So I'm not mm. so used to it because we always call her Ho Yin or Sevi. <laughs> <laughs> It's like how you always call me Tang Sui or Christina. There's no Christina Tang. Is it a Christina or Tang Sui? Tang Sui is usually something serious. <laughs> Ho Yin Yin is also usually something serious. So you exactly. can connect with Sevi. You can connect yeah. with Sevi on her Instagram, Sevi Mode, or on her Facebook page, Sevi Ho Yoga. Yeah, and I'm sure that you will get more information over there because Sevi is also practicing um, on uh, on the platform with uh, Ohana Jo as well. So thank you very much. And I have a lot of thank you, Sevi Pyung. And I believe Amy <laughs> is sharing an emoji that I can't see on stream yet. Unfortunately, it's all the cute emoji that you love. Yeah, you were saying about the cute, cute song. So. To all the viewers over here, thank you, thank you very much, you know, for joining us. I hope you have a wonderful uh, Saturday and also a beautiful Sunday. You can always tune back to this live talk for that particular session tomorrow again as well. Or you can share it out right now if you feel whatever that we have shared together with Sevi today will benefit your friend, will impact your friend positively, will maybe, you know, heal your friend, you know, through the power of sound and intention. Share it out so that we can impact more community and more friends and family together, together with Body, Mind, Soul magazine. And I have a lot of, a lot more thank you that's flooding in now. But before that, oh. Sevi, I would just want to share with all our viewers, once again, our workshop that is coming up. Sorry, our workshop that's coming up on the 13th 
uh, December, which is next Sunday, yeah, 3 to 5 p.m., uh, it, where you can actually transform your life now through self-mastery and then together with Janine Lee. So all the registration link has, has been pinned on top of this live talk. So thank you again to my beautiful friend over here. I wish we can have another session with you so that we can have another round of talking and also another round of enjoying a singing bowl together. Yeah, And yes. I, my admin at the back is nodding their heads like, Please, Christina, please make it happen. Yes, we will make it happen. <laughs> Sevi, why don't we do something on December? Sure. I mean, sure. Uh, or Christmas. Yeah. Yes, I, keep, I was like thinking, you know, maybe we should do something together for Christmas on the Friday because Friday is our regular TGIF. Usually I'm alone. I promise. Oh. I, I didn't promise. I just kind of like said out loud last uh, yesterday that, you know what, I keep seeing that I will do a Christmas carol. You know, during <laughs> on the twenty fifth of December, I was like, but maybe I can have you. It is a Friday. It, oh, okay, but you I have, have to class. Check. Yes. Okay, but let's see. Let's see how it arranged. We'll let's see how it arranged. Yeah. So yes. thank you very much. Thank you to all the viewers, and thank I you wish you a me. very good uh, evening. Once again, have a great day, and thank you, Sevi, very much. And with that, we will say goodbye to all our viewers. You can still continue to put in all your questions, and if there is anything um, that requires Sevi to attend to you, we'll definitely connect Sevi with you as well. Again, you can connect with Sevi on her. Instagram as well as her Facebook. Yeah. If you missed that out, don't worry. Just for rewind back the live video and you can find all her page link over there. So with that, goodbye and adios. Admin, pull out the Bye. video. <laughs>